Hansfree is one of those companies that honestly doesn't come across the desk all that often, both figuratively and literally. This is the Hansfree Eco-Friendly Natural Illumination Reader. And these guys are not using e-paper, they're using EcoVision paper display. It is a proprietary type of device screen technology that they're using, but we suspect it has some sort of LED or LCD backdrop as a primary property because a lot of these manufacturers like TCL for example they really kind of market full color e-paper display but essentially they're just using kind of software tweaks to change LCD LED traditionally to make it kind of appear like paper so let's see what we can see pretty simple kind of Sony DPT style box it is just a literally just a corrugated cardboard box you have a small piece of foam protecting a lot of the internals and we have some nice cutout areas for the reader and the USB type C respectively now you know I kind of like this I have no problem with simplistic packaging I believe you don't have to have over the top packaging it does sometimes reflect into the products overall quality but not always let's see what we got here we have a decascent pack this is the thing that kind of absorbs all the moisture you'll find those in you know packaged foods and stuff like that don't eat it it says recycle as paper that's not all markets some cardboard recycling countries need you to recycle this as cardboard not the same as paper but that's splitting hairs and here you go eco-friendly natural illumination reader we're going to get into a ton of this during the review we're just cracking it open for the first time and it looks like you got a type c charger you have speaker power key and volume key and you have three different languages and i believe that's taiwan english and japanese that's very nice they gave that to us now the USB type C at the bottom. This is some of the nicest packaging that is utilizing cardboard. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels very much like a conscious choice to cut everything out in such a way. And you know, it's actually pretty sturdy, all things considered. We have a USB full to USB C and that's everything that comes in the box basically. Let's see what we have for the device. There doesn't seem to be a stylus or a case or anything like that. And there we go. So this is the Hanspree. Now, just looking at it right out of the gates, it looks very Lenovo Huawei-ish with this kind of leather that wraps around. And it does actually feel like leather. I'm not sure if it is some sort of leather synthetic or if it is indeed leather that just is super low pile, but it's almost plasticky, but it's straddling that line. And you have a mirror finish that is flush with this and it is embossed to some degree, but it's inside there. It's not raised or anything like that. It's quite nice. Hansbury. Now we asked a couple of our employees and they said Han is referring to something to do with the Chinese dynasty Han because there are many manufacturers that use this like Han Von and, and Han Wang and stuff like that. So that's neither here nor there. You have the power button as we said. You have a speaker. This is looking really nice. I'm wondering if there is any sort of stylus compatibility whatsoever but you know what we're going to do? We're going to crack this open. We're going to turn it on and we're going to compare it to some e-paper really quick before we wrap up because this is just the unboxing. This is not a review. We have a lot of people that watch our unboxings and say that was a terrible review. You are right because this is showing the contents and getting it out so we can actually learn this unit and craft a proper review. Our suspicions were pretty much correct. At its very inherent core, this is an LCD LED device. You'll see the refresh rate, the how quick it is and everything. They're not using a particle system like e-paper, like e-ink or anyone like that, even DES to a lesser degree, SES a Magatag, because this is very much LCD at its complete core. Now you're going to be splitting hairs and people are going to be like, well, technically it's IPS, it's this and the other thing, it's TFT. Well, what we mean is basically it's going to look like this, like a smartphone, and it's not going to look like this, like e-paper. So there's a very huge distinction between something that can refresh like that and can't refresh like that. This is very, very clearly different. And also, a good way to tell if something is true e paper or not, you turn it off. And if you turn it off and it's looking black or gray, then it's typically not e paper. But if you turn it off and it's the exact same color as it was before, this is actually e paper. And this will live forever. This screen will never change unless there's something in the software telling it to show a low battery life or something. This will be here forever because the physical ink particles are at the surface. This needs to kind of be turned turned on and off much like a smartphone would. So that's kind of how it works. But the thing about this is the reflectivity. This isn't using a backlight. As you see here, the backlight is 
non-existent and it catches natural light. So if we catch a little bit down towards my shirt here, the light is gone and the screen is gone along with it. But if we catch the light from the studio lamps, that's incredibly bright because the reflective properties allow this to thrive, much like a Hisense Q5, for example. It is a little bit on the dark side and is very angle specific. If I hold it to an extreme angle like that, it's gone. If I hold it down, it's gone. The down angle seems to be pretty bad, actually. But to the sides, it seems to be fairly good. The axis this way must be just significantly better than the axis this way because it just seems to disappear really quick. And that kind of thing you just don't get on e-paper. E-paper, even at a one degree, you'll see it is always able to be seen, hence the inherent selling points of e-paper. One of them is the viewing angle. Now, I must say, without a backlight, this is performing extremely well. You can see that we do have studio lights on that kind of break up all the shadows, and this thing is just... It's pretty nice, honestly. And if you put your hand in front of it, you'll see it disappears. It is not using a backlight. If it was using a backlight, you would still be able to see what is beneath my hand. But it needs that light to create an image, basically, at its... We're going to get into the science behind it, but technically speaking, that is how it works. The full review is going to be a lot more methodical and planned out when it comes to what the science is behind the EcoVision display, how it's different than LCD, and how it is different than traditional e-paper as well. Stay tuned for the full review.